Hello and welcome to the New Year's special of What the Fuck Do You Want? It is a bit different this week and I must warn you, although there is a high risk you will hear the word cunt during an episode, you will hear it several times this episode because we're hosting the Cunt of the Year Awards. And what better person to hand out a Cunt of the Year Award than a true inspirational cunt of a figure, Captain J.S. Balding. I'm not sure how to take that. I guess it's an honour. Well, I couldn't remember the word for personification and then it came to me as soon as I finished speaking. I said, you can think and speak. Do both. So I'm the personification of a cunt. I like that. I've been called worse. Well, actually, no, I haven't. Update your Tinder profile with that if you want. Yeah, you would definitely date someone if that was in there. Oh, you'd give them a go. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you're the personification of a cunt, at least a few people must have done. So the last time we were chatting, Discworld RPG, did that happen? Did it, fuck, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Bollocks. But one thing that did happen, Robocop came out, the, the uh, Rogue City. And have you played it? I have, yeah, I clocked it. Did you shoot people in the dick? I hear it. That's a triumph. It's more or less all I did. (laughs) I was really upset because there's a couple of times you have to fight the big robot from Robocop 2 and you can't shoot that in the dick. And I just felt cheated. Why didn't they design this thing with a dick? (laughs) Exactly. And they do do it. When you kill the enemies, they do do the the classic Robocop drop down where he just drops to the floor and starts screaming, holding his dick. And you just do that (laughs) over and over and over and over again. And it doesn't stop being funny for me. Just everybody repeating the same animation. (laughs) It really is. Yeah, it's ridiculous. (laughs) And then just to top it off, you throw a motorcycle at them. (laughs) Because you can do that. I really must pick this game up. It sounds like it ticks all the right boxes. Yeah, it's weird. Like, what I'd, I'd maybe recommend for it to come down in price, but it does tick all the boxes I wanted it to. It's it's not amazing, but it is fun. You can shoot people in the dick. What more do you want? Fallout they, doesn't let you do that anymore. No, and they got Peter Weller to do the voice as well. Ooh. Which is worth it. It's, it's just like hammy bollocks acting. It's literally yeah. just Robocop 1, the game, but without the, the great Game Boy soundtrack, unfortunately. I could listen to that in an earbud as I'm playing. <laughs> I know, that was the best fucking soundtrack Solve ever. Solve the problems. <laughs> well, we'll not do this back and forth too much, because no, of course. of the year, I asked the public to send in their votes, and by fuck did they? <laughs> and it'll be good to get through all this in half an hour, so I thought we'd start with the least amount of votes, and end with those with the most. Okay. That you mean there's more than one? <laughs> Yes. Unbelievable. The first one I have on my list, which, yes, very good. Anyone who bought a PlayStation Portal with one vote. (laughs) And the text that came with it, because if you wanted to play remotely, you would have already. Using one of the many cheaper ways you can. Yeah, that's fair. Any strong feelings on the PS Portal? No, because I'm, I'm, I know a lot of the, the listeners to this podcast are quite serious gamers, and while I am, I'm still just a console boy because I can't be fucked to get all the ever other stuff and the peripheries and a gaming PC and yeah. So I like the idea, but no, just because it's too much faff. Fuck Sony fans. <laughs> Blathers, he's a bitch, and I want him to eat glass. Blathers is the poor little owl that runs the museum on Animal Crossing, so... Oh, okay. Obviously wrong, somebody across the line. I mean, how do you write anyone in Animal Crossing? Well, it's the most innocuous game ever made. You know, you meet these people every day. This is how seeds of discontentment get sown. It's, yeah, I suppose. It starts off as a little grudge. It builds into a raging hatred. You just want to glass somebody. <laughs> I like my hometown. <laughs> Gadget of modern escapism with one vote. Good cunt, open bracket. Best cunt, close bracket. Our cunt, but still a cunt. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot in quite a small sentence there, really. Yeah, it's complimentary in parts. Yeah, it's the use of the Australian usage, <laughs> which is obviously complimentary, but then still a cunt could be bad. With one vote, he's not winning. <laughs> no, but. no. Good effort, no. Gadget, keep it up. After that, we have Gillian Keegan... And the text that followed, there's a reason nobody tells her that she's doing a good fucking job. Do you want to explain that one in case someone doesn't know? Would you like to? (laughs) Okay. Um, So she is the current and serving health secretary who, um, on her watch, the basically crumbling concrete in public buildings 
scandal was unearthed. And when questioned about why nothing had been done up until this point, and they were suddenly shut in schools, I think a day before they reopened, <laughs> um, she blabbered on some excuses. And then as soon as the camera had cut, while still hot mic'd, just basically complained and said that, like, why doesn't ever anyone ever tell her she's doing a good fucking job? And it's probably because she's not doing a good fucking job. Out of the list of reasons, I'd say that's one of the top ones. <laughs> yeah. You know, as buildings are literally crumbling to the ground, which I didn't think was something you'd have to worry about. <laughs> 13 years of Tory government, who knows? Fucking schools made out of Weedabix. It's <laughs> yeah, Basically. I wouldn't even feed it to the fuckers. So yes, that uh, surprise that only one vote for that cunt, but cunt. Heel versus baby face, one vote, and pronouns was the reason. Do you recall yeah. this one? Do I? Um, I don't know if it's heel versus baby face. Is it the very angry bald man? That would be the one. Oh, uh, okay, yes. I, I do. <laughs> but only because of all of you lot, to be honest. Yes. Uh, I took great glee at this one and take the chance to show gender ambiguity, pronouns, and stop real dane my whatever is in front of me at the time. Yes, cunt. <laughs> Absolutely. After that, we have Joe Higgins, Hallmark of Greatness, Lovely dog owning, wank film watching, ska listening, pedo cleric playing cunt of the year. Which, just quite a good description. It's not bad. Stick that in your Tinder bio. <laughs> I don't think uh, his audience are old enough to use Tinder. <laughs> and on that topic, we have Matthew Perry with one vote. <laughs> Son of a bitch. For fucking all those kids when he was alive. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, I know who sent this one in, and he was wondering if I now have enough listeners to get done for label. I guess we'll find out in the new year. Yeah, well, I'm not saying anything, so you'll find out. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, from one label case to another, let's go on to Matthew Broderick, which is my own <laughs> private little vote, because he recently spent Christmas in his holiday home in Donegal, a mere 30 miles away from where he murdered a mother and daughter due to dangerously driving on the wrong side of the road, which ended up in the cunt paying a fine of $175, I couldn't find that in local currency, for careless driving. No charges for the double murder, never met with the family, or apologised to them, despite being here once a year. Cunt. <laughs> Inspector Gadget Cunt. I'm glad the uh, scar killed his da. A tie in there somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I can't add much to that, to be honest. You just nod and say cons. Go, go, Gadget. Road, roadside homicide. Wow, double-sided. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, too many sides. My Alcatel cell phone came in with one vote. Don't know what the fuck that is. But apparently it's because it is a general abomination. Cunt. <laughs> After that, Philip Schofield with one vote. The general public may have forgotten about this nonce posing as a silver fox, but not I. Cunt. I'm surprised I only got one, to be honest. I think it's one of those ones that most people did forget about it. Yeah. What well, the major egregious event was actually last year, wasn't it? That's why. Skipping when, the queue. Yeah, when I skipped the queue. And then David Beckham went, no, I'm going to start it back. I saw what happened to you, cunts. I've got a show coming up. I need to keep the good PR. Yeah, I'm doing Dubai in a couple of months. I've got, I've got to whitewash this bullshit. <laughs> we trade one fill for another fill after this, and one that I was quite shocked to read. Filthy! Him off the filthy ring stings gets one vote. The text that follows, harsh one. But Guy needs taking down a peg or two. Two hit podcasts and has amazing recommendations for TV shows, like The Bear. Has to be some skeletons in the closet. Also, one of those hit podcasts, the cunt would talk about the amazing rune farm to make lots of runes. But because he could never remember the names of places or people, he'd make shit up. Fucking spent hours looking for that rune farm. Get fucked. Cunt of the year, filthy. Filthy cunt. To be honest, I didn't listen to the latest Ring Stings until this morning, otherwise he would have definitely been on my list as well. I'm not going to spoil <laughs> it for anyone, but he's definitely moved up in my fucking estimation after that bollocks. Yeah, I'm I'm glad I closed this before a certain episode <laughs> uploaded. <laughs> Felicity and the cat, you cunt. <laughs> after Filthy, we have another hit podcaster, Planty. <laughs> Another one voter parades around on every podcast like his shit doesn't stink, whilst bad-mouthing other podcasters on Twitter. Pretty sure he edits John out of 100 things too. Can prove. Have been on the Tin Pot educational podcast. Uh, I've, I, I have nothing but good words to say about Planty, so... 
You so, fucking so, radical lefties stick together. <laughs> I, I mean, he's even more radical than me, but yeah, he's, he seems sweet. And he normally agrees with me, so that's always going to go down well. Oh, that'll help. Minus one vote for cunt of the year. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, brown nose points. <laughs> This one will get no brown nose points, but it did make me fucking laugh when I seen it come in. <laughs> Ralph Harris with one vote, because dying doesn't stop you from being a cunt. I love so, that energy. So what I love here is that we've got podcasters on the same list as an actual paedophile and a double murderer. Yeah, yeah, that's how bad these <laughs> podcasters in, are. In, but not only on the same list... In the same position. <laughs> Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer probably didn't come this high. Possibly, if we do this again next year, we may do categories. Just yeah, to I think split so. them up a little bit. <laughs> I think you have to have, like, novelty ones, po- pod- podcast cunt of the year. That F King guy would be... He would definitely do dead cunt of the year. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be honest, so would I. there's been some fun ones. <laughs> I rule out no cunt of the year. How dare you? <laughs> After that, we had Russell T. Davies with one vote, which I was going to cut out, but... Then I read the text. Not for being a cunt. However, by making lovely, inclusive Doctor Who, he has exposed lots of real cunts, and that is top cuntish behaviour. Get fucked, cunt. Yeah, I mean, that is great. That Just seeing the gammon rage of everyone that just doesn't like anything being inclusive ever. <laughs> it's really funny. I don't even like Doctor Who. I just like the fact he's winding up those people. Yeah, it might get me into Doctor Who now, finally, after Phil banging on about it for a lifetime. <laughs> after that we have sea of stars with one vote and no text i, I like that game fucking cowards that's why they don't want to write anything because they're gonna get shat on it's a great game uh, can't <laughs> sean bell from tcgs would this be a podcast you listen to um as i don't know what the abbreviation is probably not the computer game show no i do fuck no <laughs> i'm mainly politics and murder is most Ooh, of my time that Explains a bit, yeah. It does, yeah. The text that came through for this one was quite dante. For long-time listeners of this podcast, we have had to sit through a lot of virtue signaling throughout the years. Ubisoft, Rockstar, Activision, each getting long-drawn-out sections of beratement, which, don't get me wrong, they deserve. This year, in their end-of-year Game of the Year show, he nominated CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077 which is ridiculous given the year of releases we've had. A game that came out three years ago. Not only was this an insult to the releases that actually came out this year, it was a slap in the face of every developer that experienced abysmal working conditions under CDPR's crunch regime. The blood, sweat and misery contained in that title should never be swept under the carpet and forgotten. Never mind the campaign of lies the gamers had to endure. Maybe practice what you used to preach, Mr. Bell. Yeah, I listened to that podcast for fucking years, and if I was going to nominate one of them for Cunt of the Year, it would have been the main one, David. And he would have enjoyed that. If somebody said, you know, David, you're in the running for Cunt of the Year, he's been completely ignored here. Didn't even get a look terrible. No, I, I should have voted for him. It, it would have made his year. It would have cheered him up a bit. But uh, Sean Bell, fuck up. <laughs> you Cunt I mean, nominee just, of the year. Just to be fair, in... Mm-hmm. In his slight defence, you could argue that Baldur's Gate 3 is technically a game that came out a year and a half ago. Very true. Early access. I was <laughs> trying to get a rise out of Gadget with that recently, but he just wasn't biting. I think he knew I was bored. <laughs> <laughs> so what, do you want Mr. Bell stricken from the records? Is that what you're out here to do? I don't know him. He's probably a cunt. Uh, possibly. <laughs> After that, we have the Sycamore Gap cons, Tree-cutting cons with one vote. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. He's cut down a very nice tree for no reason. Cons. Yeah. I don't even see what the reason would have been either. It's not like that they owned the land around it and they're going to build flats like that pub in like fucking Norfolk or whatever. Like, it's just a tree near near Hadrian's Wall, for fuck's sake. Maybe they've really hated druids. Yeah, fuck maybe Had- Hadrian turned up again and just went, fuck that tree off from my wall. <laughs> it, just, it made no sense. Pointless cons. The worst kind. After that, speaking of pointless cons. <laughs> We have the BBC. They raised the price of the TV licence. Hugh Edwards, Gary Lineker being silenced, not airing the David Attenborough show about natural destruction due to fear of right-wing backlash. Spineless cunts. Yeah. Valid. Tory cunts now. I am hoping Another to episode. Do... <laughs> I am hoping to do a counter to see how many times cunt comes up throughout the 30 minutes. I may <laughs> well, just have hot... to do a separate Tory cunts. <laughs> like Hot Shots part, dear. 
<laughs> Just like the kill count. After that, we have the CEOs of gaming with one vote. 2023 has been a banging year for video games. Buttergate 3, Alan Wake 2, Day of the Diver, Spider-Man 2. Wait, no, not that one. <laughs> but across the industry, over 10,000 people have lost their jobs this year as CEOs continue to try and make sure the line keeps going up. Games have never been bigger and sales are off the charts, but the shareholder value trumps the artistry. Every single time, and the easiest way to make the profits expenses chart look even better is to dump those expensive employees once the game is shipped. Fuck this is a long entry. While this award is focused across the industry, special focus should be shone on the fucks at Embracer Group, who expanded too quickly, lost their investment, and ultimately ran out of money, forcing some classic and legendary studios to either rapidly downsize or close altogether. Do you want to read the next one? <laughs> you need a break. Um, so, yes, cunts. Cunts a lot of them, I agree. Um, so, <laughs> oh, wow, thanks for this one. Cunts. <laughs> this is the ukulele pedo. Colleen Ballinger, or Ballinger was caught grooming some underage fans, so wrote a song on why she was actually the victim. Everyone was addicted to toxic gossip. Played on a fucking ukulele. It's like the Don't Diddle Kids, kids song from It's Always Sunny. <laughs> See, yes, I, I, I did actually I'm, I'm link the video to this. this. Okay, that's what the high is. I haven't watched it. I'm peri- I, I, I think it popped up in a timeline somewhere, and I just couldn't. That's, uh, I can't. I've got a cat at the door. One moment. No problem. <laughs> I think the cat was offended by the amount of times he heard cunt and he <laughs> needed to get out of the house. Thought you were having a wank. <laughs> also, I, I like the idea that I've got a cat at the door is Northern Irish slang for I need to take a shit. I'm off for a tabby. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. You've got your work cut out to get this down to half hour. We're not even on the... We're still on the one boat. For fuck's sake. <laughs> so after the ukulele pedo, we have the Wilkinson family. For taking 77 million in dividends and causing the collapse of Wilco's and 12,400 jobs being lost during a cost of living crisis. Yes, this one was personal. The great econs. Yeah, I, I didn't know that aspect of it. I thought it just went bankrupt. I didn't know they took all the money out of it first. <laughs> Definitely deserve that vote, the cons. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take a turn on turn or? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, Twitter Spaces. It was a tough ball. Let's try that again. It was a tough call between <laughs> this and Discord. Just a bunch of fannies with no social life ganging up and repeating the same fucking opinion at each other. Literal echo chambers. They fall apart as soon as something goes off script. Cunts. Cunts. Never been on Twitter Space. Not have I. Because only cunts do, you see. Obviously. After that, we had a vote for yet Owl Mommy. I'm thinking it's your Owl Mommy. I should have got the fucking you to read this one out. <laughs> Maybe not the biggest cunt, but certainly the baggiest. Publish that, you twat. So. That, that's got to be from Filthy. <laughs> that seems he very specific. That about my mommy. He knows my mommy. <laughs> I'll just box him in the head just to be sure. Gerard the Completionist. So we're now on the two vote list. That's good. Oh, finally. <laughs> Gerard the Completionist. Um, one voter kindly added a link for the story, but no description. A YouTuber that collected a lot of money for charity, only to leave it in an account for seven years, immediately donated the amount as soon as the video started coming out. So he was just accumulating credit. It was uh, resting in his account. He father Ted the situation. <laughs> yes, it's, it's not my money. I'm just looking after it for someone. <laughs> yes, uh, another one wrote, stole money meant for charity. Cunt. Cunt. After that, Justin Roiland with a couple of votes. Smug cunt acted as if being cleared of domestic abuse charges made all those creepy messages he sent to underage fans just vanish. Pedo cunt. Yeah. In, in, to paraphrase Jeffrey Dahmer, and, and this is where the sex offences started happening. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. Kid Rock. Shooting beer, even shit American beer, is still a crime. Cunt. Cunt. After that, we have Linus Tech Tips. Two votes for this one. Uh, were you aware of the channel or what had happened? No. No, I don't know anything about this at all. Linus Tech Tips, really popular for technology reviews. Uh, our own Tig or Tigerland would have been quite a fan. Probably still is. He's a bit of a cunt too. But it came out that he took money for glowing reviews in a nutshell. Ah, okay. Like So basically the entire media landscape that does reviews. Yeah. As I but, found out. Know, he hit it better. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, this is going to surprise everyone. Nadine Dorries, only getting two votes. Yeah. Took that long to stand down that she could have written a terrible book in that time. <laughs> I mean, did. I see what they did there. Yes. Cunt. Cunt. After that, we have 
Spider Bros, or Spider Writers, or Spider Man stands. The childish pricks who cried about their game not winning Game of the Year. It wasn't even the second or third best game on that list. Touch grass, spider losers. Yeah, I, I couldn't justify buying a PS5 just for this game, so I didn't. Oh. Not yet, anyway. Maybe one day. And thank you to the person that added the video that compiled a lot of people freaking out after it didn't win Game of the Year. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I mean, given the competition, lads, calm yourselves down. Settle, paddles. <laughs> you cons. <laughs> All right, this is this is an easy one. Trump, no notes. Fucker. What's up? Stupid app keeps deleting my very important messages that aren't incriminating in the slightest. I think that's a settings issue. I think that was a reference to uh, oh yes, all the of WhatsApp course. WhatsApp messages that went all of our politicians who somehow don't know how to use WhatsApp anymore. That always reminds me of, like super hands or peep show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll never forgive Orange if they've deleted the twins. <laughs> I mean, at least they didn't all drop them in the sea. True. Like Lord Bethel did. And uh, the one isn't Colleen Rooney, the other one. I can't remember her fucking name. Danny Masterton. Again, no notes. Maybe they're scared of him. Who the fuck is Danny Masterton? Oh, did you not see that story throughout the year? Uh, I might have done. I might not have paid attention. What was the sitcom he was in? 70s show? Oh, the, the Mormon rapey one. Yeah, that one. Or the, the Scientology oh, yeah. rapey one, sorry. Yes. And had people come out to defend him only for... To, yeah, well, you know... <laughs> Defending rapist is never a great look. Talking about things that don't have a great look at the moment. <laughs> Israel, stop fucking genociding people. Cons. At least and the other one was yes. baby killing cons. Yeah, one of those is planting. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, Putin. enjoy this one. Yeah, Putin got three votes. Nobody added their names or had reasons for this one. Clever. Clever cons. <laughs> Well, considering one of his mates just fell out of a window again the other day, so yeah, don't blame him. Who cleans their windows at this time of year? I know, right? I mean, I did actually two days ago, but there was no Russian standing behind me, so it's smart. <laughs> you never know they're there. That's part of the charm. <laughs> just dressed After up that, we have... a gaming chair. <laughs> Died how he lived. After that, we have Tigerland with three votes. The crisp hating cunt. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you hate crisps, you're right. Yeah, he can't totally See, cunt. this is another one. This will sustain Tigerland. He will fucking draw sustenance from this. This is very much aimed at your audience, isn't it? Very much so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so here's one that everyone loves. The man, the legend, the bell end. Jordan Peterson. This man preys on vulnerable and confused young men to garner power and use people's situations against them. A weepy, weak voiced predator. Sounds like a rapey Kermit. I added that bit. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's my bet give me credit for that one <laughs> no I just don't want anyone else to get the blame for it <laughs> yeah I'd agree uh, actually no people who want to see his live shows and it's just oh right well we're not going to talk anymore <laughs> yeah it's I've, I've listened to him he's a fucking it's kind of like the, the, uh, uh, he's, oh, a he's a cunt yeah he's a cunt he's, he's actually got cunt. votes he's a voted in cunt he's four, four time voted in cunt <laughs> similar to Dan Wooten who also had four votes. Cunt, but we didn't get any funny post-ins about him. I think everybody just assumes you know what he's up to. Cunt. Yeah, I mean, alleged sex pest and pretended to be really sad at the gate of Buckingham Palace when the Queen died. Fuck that guy. <laughs> retake my grief. What a cunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't get to do retakes, dickhead. <laughs> Mainly someone I hear from you, your own mouth. Jeff Keeley. Yeah, uh, a bit of a cunt. His smug fucking face. The Game Awards was three hours long, and 28 minutes of it was the actual awards. He's such a star fucker that celebrities got more stage time than actual award winners, and when Sven from Larian was accepting the Game of the Year award, they started to play him off while he was honouring a member of the dev team who had died a few months ago. Awful cunt. It is a bit of a greasy cunt. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a bad one. <laughs> yeah, uh, you give... Hideo Kojima 10 minutes and then you couldn't give actual people who have created games that were worthy of awards no offence Hideo <laughs> uh, the barest of moments to talk about it I want to talk about Cunt. my dead friend now nah, fuck off <laughs> play the music <laughs> dun, 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 dun. watch this trailer of a door oh <laughs> thank fuck I remember this from it. the rest of my dying days after that we've got the king because I'll never get used to that. Year of misery, power companies making record profits, unemployment, food banks, homelessness, and this cunt farts around in a golden carriage. Yeah, yeah. And he's got sausage fingers. Has, he's got pigs in blanket fingers. <laughs> Matt Hancock. So many things the cunt has done deserves the cunt award outright. 
His highlight for me was when he said he shouldn't be held accountable for the deaths of all the vulnerable members of the public that he was responsible for. Also, he's just a human being and he fell in love, okay? Cunt. <laughs> Utter cunt. Uh, can't believe I scrolled past that one. Yeah, no, thank you for leaving <laughs> it you for picked me. it up. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way he was getting off uh, that easily. <laughs> cunt. Speaking of, after that, <laughs> Suella Braverman. Again, nobody wrote in for this. I... I assume it's because everybody just knows they're a cunt. Yeah, it's it's like Ron Seal. <laughs> it does exactly what it says on the tin. No explanation needed. Oh, Tory cunt. <laughs> Tory cunt. Ding. Seven. <laughs> We're up to seven, I think. Speaking of. Everyone's favourite northern miner, 30p Lee Anderson. Or Lee Andertal. <laughs> he paints himself as the working class voice of the average, average bloke in Britain. He's not. He's the cunt that when you see him in the pub, you leave because he's a racist blowhard prick. He's also about as much of a minor as I am a professional show jumper. And also, this cunt wants hanging to be brought back and hasn't realised that he'd be the first to be strung up. Cunt. Cunt. Purple-faced cunt. Purple-faced racist cunt. <laughs> Tory cunt. <laughs> Just stop oil cunts. <laughs> With five votes. I want to save the environment too, but defacing works of art, blocking ambulances, and throwing confetti over Jeremy Hunt does fuck all except expose them for the attention-seeking twats that they are. I am seeing twat too often in this fucking episode. Just write content, future. Yeah, say what you mean. Don't make me say it for you. <laughs> yeah. Fuck twat. Ah, uh, this is a good one. <laughs> Lawrence Fox. They're all or, good ones. They're all good ones, actually. Lawrence Fox, or Loza to his mates. Racist, homophobic... Which is no one, yeah. <laughs> Racist, homophobic cunt who won't shut the fuck up. Apparently, according to him and only him, he was in the running for Bruce Wayne in The Batman against Christian Bale, <laughs> but once the woke mob cancelled him, they fell back onto Robert Pattinson. Oh, sorry, it was Robert Pattinson, not um, Christian Bale, my bad. For that claim, he needs to be fed into a wood chipper. No more offered a job as Batman than I was. Cunt. Yeah, also, right. no one mentioned dressed his kids up in blackface for fucking Twitter. And his brother-in-law is Richard Iode. Don't be that much of a cunt. Come on. What a cunt. <laughs> After that, we have Russell Brand. Yay. <laughs> Woo. Before he was outed as a rapist and nonce, before he found God, I so hope I'm not up for label, became a wellness guru and started a cult full of incels and conspiracy theorists before he spread disinformation about vaccinations and got all matey with Alex Jones, Tucker Carlson, and Jordan Peterson. Before he divorced Katy Perry by text, for fuck's sake, <laughs> dick. <laughs> before his shit comments. attempt at being an actor, <laughs> and before his stand-up career, he was a cunt. No man on this planet is more deserving of getting kicked down a well-oiled up escalator while having house bricks thrown at him. We've, we've lost Punk, everyone. We've lost him. He's gone. Do you want to do, you want to do a retry of that? Or? Uh. <laughs> this is why I didn't read most of these before coming in, because this is funny as fuck. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Yes, take two of that one. Let's before he was outed as a rapist and nonce, before he found God, became a wellness guru and started a cult full of incels. Fuck this. <laughs> Do you want me to try and take this one? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to put this in the outtakes. So, Russell Brand. Before he... Oh, uh, fuck. Nonce. <laughs> fuck, it's really hard. To... Let's try one more time. Before he was outed as a rapist and nonce, before he found God became a wellness guru and started a self a cult full of incels and conspiracy theorists before he spread disinformation about vaccinations and got all matey with Alex Jones, Tucker Carlson and Jordan Peterson, before he divorced Katy Perry by text, before his shit attempt at being an actor and before his stand-up career, he was a cunt. No man on this planet is more deserving of getting kicked down a well-oiled escalator while having house bricks thrown at him. Always a cunt. Now I'm glad I have a reason to call him a cunt. And every cunt that made excuses for him when the allegations came out. I hope they throw the bookie wook at him. <laughs> that was hard. Whew, that was hard. Uh, I couldn't look at you either. Uh, I was going to turn my camera off as well as mute the <laughs> microphone. I could because all I could just see out of the corner of my eyes. You pissing yourself laughing. 
Oh, uh, I enjoy that. However, that was. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was. Year. That was brilliant. That's that's outtakes all day. <sighs> right, you can take this one. I need. A yeah, minute. this might uh, add to our counter. The Tory Party, the Tories, and the Tory Conference 2023 with five votes. Crying about being treated badly and bullied because no fucker wanted them in their pubs. Must be terrible to go somewhere in search of hospitality and being told to fuck off instead. That must be a terrible thing to go through. Hashtag BB at CPC23. I can't be arsed to submit 340 plus entries for each of them. So they're grouped as one. Cunts. Cunts the lot of them. Tory cunts. Yep, yeah, fair. <laughs> so, so we're now into the six vote category, and coming in hot is Rishi Sunak. No notes. So I'm just going to add just a couple of my own. <laughs> people that just wrote cunt. <laughs> well, yeah, just Sunak. Tory cunt. cunt. So I'll add one. Within two hours of his inaugural speech as Prime Minister, promising and guaranteeing integrity and honesty in office. He reinstated Suella Braverman, previously mentioned in the list, who had been fired six days previously for breaching the the code Mm -hmm. and brought back uh, Dominic Raab, who was soon to be fired for bullying, and Nadeem Sahawi, who was soon to be fired for tax evasion. And that was before all the the racist stuff started. (laughs) That was two hours in. Cunt. Tory cunts. Tory cunt. Actually, short-ass Tory cunt as well. Yeah, that's it. Throw them all in now. So, on the subject of inferior male specimens, we then have Andrew Tate. I also got a couple in for the Tate brothers, but I rolled them all into one. That poetry he wrote in prison, I hope it gets collected and compiled into a book so that nobody will buy it. (laughs) And I think this is a direct quote from some of his prison tweets. My right hand has been crafted into a dragon's fist. Wanking. My left hand! has perfected the tiger's claw. Wanking. My heart remains pure. Do you understand? No. No. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> Virgin cons. Couple of votes for Tate Brothers as well. Those rubber-faced cons won't shoot virtual police out of some alien moral code in Grand Theft Auto. We'll have... <laughs> Will happily rape and sell real world girls into slavery, though. I mean, you got to have standards. You, you were the right man for the job. <laughs> this is my third one with you, and this is never. This has never happened. This is ridiculous. But, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the entry. Uh, that's brilliant. So, with ten votes now, Captain Tom's offspring, pickled spunk. <laughs> that's it. And I can't argue. I can't. No, no, I agree fully. Horrible cons. Uh, Get planning permission next time, dickhead. After that, we have Elon Musk with 14 votes. He's like if Neo from The Matrix was an autistic incel and The Matrix was actually just 4chan. He's become a flagpole for every right wing fuck knuckle to hide behind and give cover with his divorced dad, dude bro, red pilled bullshit. Seriously. Who outside of a wank day's teenage emo would think that buying a company with instant international brand name recognition and changing its name to X was a good idea? That and the Cybertruck is a fucking abomination. Blocky wank. After that we have he's a cultural vandal who destroyed an imperfect but still nice online space in Twitter. The Cybertruck looks like a chip shop counter with wheels. <laughs> it really does. The two failed rocket launches and failed Twitter rebrand. Silly cunt. Do I really need to even explain at this point? That whole business about him buying Twitter because it made his child trans. Mm. Do I need a reason? Fine. He's an anti-Semitic, a <laughs> glorious wanker who smells his own varts <laughs> and likely fucks a pillow with his own face on. His followers defend him to the hilts whilst paying him for a free website so they can have a big blue check to make themselves feel important. He ruins every company he gets involved with. His money comes from emerald mining, and he's a proponent of apartheid. Fuck that cunt. Organising a fight with a Facebook android, then checking out by getting his mum involved. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. His mum said he's not allowed. (laughs) I actually forgot about that. (laughs) 
Oh, imagine and there that. we have it. Elon Musk was our cunt of the year. Uh, no, he wasn't. Fucking ready, wasn't. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still just getting over not having a fight because your mum said you're not allowed <laughs> when you're a billionaire. That's ridiculous. Against the ham-faced android himself. Just pull in every favour you can. Who's <laughs> yeah. left? Mum, write, write a letter. Uh, <laughs> you still use Facebook, don't you? <laughs> uh, this has actually worked out perfectly. So, at number one, cunt of the year with 16 votes. The one, the only, Deadbeat Punk. I might actually get a statue made for this now. <laughs> Very small erection. <laughs> okay, so... Keeping those two wee poor boys locked under the stairs, or in his psyche or something. Free the punk too! Also needs to stop hiding in the back office playing Game Boy while his staff deal with the general public. Cuntish behaviour. That's someone that works for you. It sounds like it. Cunt times ten times. I mean, look at him. A tyrant in his own personal online fiefdom. Punk is a man guaranteed to punch you in the face and take your pint before the barroom brawl is kicked off. So rotten to the core he is, even his multiple personalities are to- toxic cunts. See, this raises an interesting point. Maybe I should divide this vote by three. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you've actually only come in like fifth. <laughs> For making fun of Insomniac being hacked, even though all of their employees had details posted online. Absolute brain dead, brain dead shit cunt, or something. Yeah. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy your little console war. He's a giant cunt. Surely I'm not the only one who voted for him. He's a massive cunt. He's a half Irish cunt, the worst type of Irish, and cunt. <laughs> He's a cunt and a monkey puncher is... Oh, sorry, let's try that one again. Fuck it. He's a cunt and monkey puncher is a load of bollocks. Yeah, don't mind being called a cunt, but no need for the monkey puncher thing. <laughs> I've never played monkey puncher, but I know it has a, a special place in your heart. I may have over, oversold it slightly. Uh, welcome to online re- digital game reviews. Yeah. Spider-Man 2. Game of the year. Cunt. (laughs) (sighs) Yeah, so there's no way that's getting shaved down to fucking half an hour. (laughs) I don't know. You can cut about five minutes of giggling out. (laughs) It's the best bit of the episode. I can't take it out. (laughs) You've got to at least have it in at the end as an outtake. That was hilarious. (laughs) Oh, man, that was so hard to get through. (laughs) I don't know why. It's just once you started laughing, I couldn't fucking help it. I wouldn't. I've read them all. I put the fucking document (laughs) together. I knew it was coming. (laughs) Ah. That was good, though. <laughs> so, uh, any picks that stood out to you? Anybody you forgot about? I mean, the, the, the problem is there are so many. Yeah. But, you, I mean, how many can you add? Do you know what's amazing? Did Boris Johnson even turn up on the fucking list? No, I didn't get one. But then again, he has been forgotten about. I know. But that's all, like, mo- uh, like although he's no longer Prime Minister this year, mm-hmm. he quit his constituency this year. That was eight months ago. He threw a strop. There's so many, like Jacob Rees Mogg wasn't in there. Fucking, mm-hmm. um, what's his face? The, the guy that's responsible for more death in Southeast Asia than probably anyone alive apart from fucking Pol Pot. Henry Kissinger, <laughs> yeah. not even up there. So there's yeah, many. Because it's not as if death really stopped people from being nominated. No. Poor and Matthew it, Perry. Yeah, I didn't know about the allegations, but you know. <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't any. <laughs> just one guy, just like, yeah, fuck it, he fucks kid. Yeah, it's a friend of mine just being a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I didn't hear that. I didn't know. <laughs> just play along. Just trying to get him retros- retrospectively savelled. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, there's there's many. I think we covered some of the more egregious ones. One that I, I think I want to add, because Alex Jones came up peripherally but isn't actually nominated, mm. so he belongs on there. But yeah. more egregious because he's got a bigger following and used to sort of have a brain before he got head kicked too much is Joe Rogan. So fuck that oh, guy yeah. for platforming all of these other guys because almost all of them have been on his fucking show. Can't wait until I get invited on. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be on in a couple of weeks. Once he hears this. This cut of the year <laughs> business. Yes, you were on it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all I got. I think we've got plenty. <laughs> Yeah, I think that'll do it. <laughs> well, what a glorious way to tie up our recording year and to kickstart a new one. Deadbeat Punk, cunt of the year. Cunt of the year. What a cunt. And thanks for that. I wouldn't have been able to get through it without you. Uh, we barely made it as it was. <laughs> but 
it is that time we're gonna have to wrap up thank you so much for joining me for this prestigious event oh, no thank you for having me it's it's like um that show on channel four this was essentially that big fat cunt of the year show <laughs> but with less sex offenders and people slagging off the traveler community <laughs> well the bits we kept in <laughs> uh, i just the fuck did i beat braverman <laughs> wasn't even trying this a year. lot as well <laughs> it wasn't even close no you got more than doubled you got like three times the votes disgusting of the worst home secretary in recent history that's how the tories keep getting in <laughs> i must have had a fucking bacon sandwich wrong or something <laughs> yeah yeah you just ate a bacon sandwich while setting fire to a traveler only one of those things annoyed the public <laughs> right fucking hell. we'll have to wrap it up it has been a delight and from the cunt of the year to the pricks that listen to him, get fucked.